Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about belly fat. There are so many little things that we to reduce. The number one thing you need with excessive working out to the extent that you get injured and you have so much of inflammation in your body. There are so many little inexpensive lifestyle changes that you can make to reduce your belly fat. How do I know? Because thousands of people are already doing it. They're making these lifestyle changes and most people are still trying to chase diets and fat exercise programs that never get them anywhere. Short-term results, maybe. Sustainable? Absolutely not. So when it comes to belly fat, number one, of course, if you have a hormonal problem, if you have PCOD, if you're going through really difficult menopause, you may want to really get this checked properly because balancing your hormones will help you to reduce the belly fat way easier. If you are battling against a hormonal imbalance, then it gets more frustrating and it definitely is more difficult, but never impossible. First, you address the root cause if it's a hormonal imbalance. Of course, if it's because of your, you know, uh, sedentary lifestyle, your lack of sleep, yes, lack of sleep. You notice a lot of people who are fit, their arms, their legs, their chest, but they have this belly fat which never seems to go. Check their sleep levels, poor sleep, sleep de deprivation, sleep deprived. Yes. You lose belly fat when you have better sleep as well. It works like that. Then, of course, diabetics, people with insulin resistance, tend to struggle to lose belly fat. But I'm talking about two things today that I want you to try for the next 15 days, and you will see a change in your belly fat. You will start to lose inches by doing this, as well as maintaining your lifestyle. Number one, try it. Try to have an earlier dinner. If you cannot do dinner with sunset, at least try to do it within one hour after sunset. So like right now, sunset is at 6.20 today. So at least if I cannot have my dinner at 6.20, I'm gonna make sure that I get done by 7.20. So if you can try to get your dinner done as early as possible, and then keep a 12, a minimum 12 hour gap between your next meal. And if you, let's say you finish at 7.20, and the next meal will be at 7.20 in the morning. But if you're not hungry, take it to 8.20 or 9.20 without pushing your body. 12 to 14 hours done. Do it for six out of seven days consistently. Finishing your dinner at the same time, okay? And then starting to eat your breakfast or your mid-morning meal at the same time. So you're aiming to keep 12 hours to max. Now, if you take it up to 15, 16, 17, that's up to you. But I'm saying 12 to 14 hours done, starting at sunset or within one hour after sunset. That's number one. Do this consistently for six to seven days and you will notice a change in the fat that you carry in your abdominal area. Number two, I want you to wake up and I want you to do a fasted workout, okay? Get up, put your shoes on and go for a one hour walk without eating anything. So let's say you are gonna break this fast at eight o'clock, finish your walk between seven and eight. Now, number one, if you have low blood sugar levels or you tend to faint if you work out without eating anything, then don't do this. Listen to your body. The advice I'm giving you, okay, is something that you should do with an informed decision. So if you know you are the kind of person who needs to eat something before a walk or you feel dizzy, then do it. If your blood sugar levels are gonna crash because you're diabetic and you need to eat something, then don't do what I'm saying. But for most of us, get up and do a one hour walk, okay? If you don't like doing a one hour walk, maybe even try to do a 45 minute workout, whether you're doing squats, push-ups, or whatever it is. Of course, if you're doing compound moves in the gym like heavy weight lifting, it's stupidity if you're gonna to try to do a fasted workout. Don't do that. Don't do that, especially if you're a beginner. So to make it simple, wake up for the next eight days and do a one hour walk at your pace. Try to keep it brisk. So you're keeping a 12 to 14 hour gap between your last meal and your next meal and you are doing a fasted workout. The moment you finish your workout, you should be ready to break this 12 hour or 14 hour fast. So what happens is you, you finish your walk, you finish your workout and you eat immediately. Break your fast with a cup of water, add lemon if you don't, if lemon doesn't suit you, you can just have plain water, then have a nice fruit because your cells will be like hungry and they'll absorb in all the nutrition from fruits on an empty stomach and then have your normal breakfast and get on with your day. Try to do these two little things. We've been doing this with thousands of people across the world and by far they stand out to be something which is very consistent in achieving inch loss and belly fat loss.
Now, besides this, of course, you gotta sleep well, make sure that the rest of your diet, just don't do this and eat sugar for the rest of the day. It's obvi obviously not gonna work. Just don't do this fasted workout and be sedentary for the rest of, the rest of the day. What we advise our clients, we tell them to do this fasted walk, and in the evening, maybe do a half an hour workout, your weight training, your dance, your yoga, your weights, your body weight exercises, or whatever it is. You remember my video I did a couple of days on neat exercises? This is a powerful, neat exercise where you will also get straight into fat burn. And believe me, after you finish this walk, most of you would think that I'm doing a fasted walk, I'm gonna be really hungry. The beauty is you won't be hungry. Why? Because your body has already started burning fat for energy. And that gives you sustained, beautiful energy. And that's a feeling I want you to realize. And you'll realize that for the rest of the day, your energy levels are gonna be amazing. Amazing energy levels. So let's do this for the next couple of days. Try to have an early dinner. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, we always have excuses and obstacles and all of that stuff. But I can't help you with that. All I can do is tell you that this works. Early dinner, fasted workout, fasted walk. Fasted yoga doesn't really count because yoga is a very gentle exercise in any way. We are supposed to do yoga on an empty stomach either ways. So I want to push in a walk. If you can't do a one hour walk, start with a 30 minute or a 45 minute walk. And in case you can't walk at all, then do your yoga fasted, completely empty stomach and do this for seven to 10 days and you will see inch loss. If you don't believe me, take your inches today, measure your inches. And about seven to 10 days later, after doing this with consistency and discipline and maintaining the other aspects of your lifestyle, you will see that the simplest things in life work when it comes to belly fat loss. The complicated things like fat diets, punishing your body with exercise, weight loss pills and all of that stuff never worked and never work. If it worked, no one would ever be doing anything else. Everyone would be spending money on all of these things, but we know it doesn't work. Have a great week, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.